These are the five things that I really like and the five things that I don't really like about my F-150. Hopefully they'll help you make a decision when you're buying your truck. Now, the first thing that I really like about the F-150 is um, the buttons and the controls and everything inside, how beefy and, and thick and large, and they're just easy to find, easy to press. Uh, they're not too small. The knobs are easy to find and uh, roll nicely. You don't have to hunt and search for them. There's not, you're not overwhelmed with buttons. Uh, everything's laid out um, really nicely. It's easy to find. It's logical, it makes sense. I've seen some cars that have three buttons for a seat heater, a button for off, a button for low, a button for medium, and a button for high. That makes no sense to me, just push it multiple times to get high, medium, low. So that just makes sense to me, uh, minimizing the buttons. Um, but the good thing about these buttons too is that, you know, if you do a lot of construction work and you're wearing thick gloves, it's easy to push these buttons with your gloves on. They're not too small that you accidentally push multiple buttons at the same time. So they're just really easy to press, easy to find, laid out in a logical manner. And same thing with the steering wheel controls. It's just laid out really nicely. It makes sense, the cruise control. So just the layout of the buttons is just logical and makes sense. So that's something that I really like. And the next thing that I really like is the Pro Trailer Backup Assist, which helps you back up a trailer. If you're not so good at backing up, you don't have the experience and you just want an easy way to back up your trailer. It's very easy to use once you program your trailer into it and put in all the settings and the measurements. You just simply hold this knob and turn it while you're driving and the trailer will go whichever way that you want the rear of the trailer to go. So if you turn it, to the left, your rear of your trailer will move to the left. If you turn it to the right, the rear of the trailer will turn to the right. And the cool thing is once you have that angle, you can let go and it snaps into the center position and the truck will hold that angle and go straight from that point um, so that you don't have to worry about steering or keeping it straight. It just does that automatically. That's a really nice feature uh, when you're pulling out or trying to back in the middle of the street and there's a lot of traffic and it just makes the job easier. And yeah, a lot of people would say, oh, that's for wimps. That's for people who don't know how to back trailers. And yeah, okay, you could say that. Um, me personally, I've been backing trailers uh, since I was 15. Um, I know how to do it, but I will say that this just makes it a lot easier. I can back it up faster um, and more accurately. So I don't use it all the time just because not all the trailers I pull are programmed into it. But when I have the option, I do it just because I, I don't know, it's cool. It works well. And I think it's kind of fun too, to watch the steering wheel spin, um, all on its own. So that's something I really like and you can only find on the F-150. So, um, that's one of my favorite features. Another feature that I really like is the box link hooks in the bed right here, right there. They're just really cool because they're inside and kind of hidden and you don't have your straps falling on the outside and scratching your paint. They're a little bit lower so it pulls things down, uh, which is nice when you're doing dirt bikes or bicycles or furniture, things like that. And the really cool thing is they do have locks on them so you don't have to worry about anyone stealing them. And they're interchangeable. You can get different uh, cleats that mount in there. Um, so that's a really cool, really cool feature. Another thing that I really like, it's kind of like a little bonus feature in there, is the button in the back of the tailgate to turn the bed lights on. It's just really nice to be able to push that button when you got your hands full and you're trying to load something at night and you can just hit that button and your cab is completely lit up. Um, so I put LED bulbs up there. Uh, these ones come LED, but those cab lights, you can change them to LED, so I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to get some LED cab lights for that as well. It looks a lot better than the yellow. My next favorite feature is the floor in the back of the cab because it is completely flat. Um, a lot of the other truck manufacturers, Chevy, Dodge, um, Toyota, all those guys, they don't have a completely flat surface. They usually have some sort of bump or contour uh, for the transmission or um, whatever's under the truck. Um, but the F-150 and all Ford's trucks are really nice because it's flat. So you can, you have more room, um, you can fit larger objects in there and you can lay things flat if you have liquids and you don't have to worry about them spilling. So 
uh, that's one feature that I've really liked. You can put a dresser, you can put a cabinet, large boxes, and uh, with other trucks, you're not able to do that. So that's one feature that I thought was pretty cool and I didn't find in any other type of truck. And last, but certainly not least, this is probably my most favorite feature about the F-150s in all Ford cars, is they have the keypad right there on the door that allows you to access your vehicle without keys. You can just type in uh, your five digit combo and unlock all the doors. You can even lock the doors if you want to. Um, you can unlock one door or you can unlock all doors. And that's super cool if you're um, you know, running from your house to the driveway and you forget your keys. You don't have to go inside, get your keys. You just punch in your code, get something real quick. Um, you can even park your truck somewhere, lock the keys inside. Um, and if a friend or someone else wants to take the truck or something, you just tell them the code and then they can get in, get the keys and then drive away and it's awesome. And if you're trying to use the keypad at night, there are lights inside of it, so it lights up so you can see the buttons easily. So the other thing that I really like about it is when I go hiking or to the gym or something like that, I can just lock my keys inside and I don't have to worry about carrying keys if I don't have pockets. And it just makes life a whole lot easier and I know that I'm not gonna lose them because they're locked safely in the vehicle. Now I will say, um, you wanna be careful. Don't leave your keys in plain sight because someone could see that and then break your window and steal your car. So that's a really cool feature that I use every single day and I haven't seen it on any other truck other than the F-150 and that was a huge selling point for me when I bought the truck. Okay, so now to talk about some of the stuff that is not my favorite about the F-150. Granted, these are just little things that aren't really a big deal, but for me, they're kind of annoying and um, I figured I'd share them with you. So the first thing is that there are no lights underneath the hood. Um, typically you have some sort of light bulb right here, um, which is super annoying if you're trying to work on your truck at night or you have a problem you need to see. You gotta hold a flashlight or just do something like that, which is a pain in the butt. So that's why I installed these um, LED lights, um, which are actually really cool. They're very bright. Um, I only have four of them in there and it lights up uh, the entire compartment. Uh, really nicely and they're module so that you can click them together and you can put more or less um, if you want and I just wired a switch right here so that they come on just like that and there's even a light on the switch so you know when it's on and um, it just makes uh, that a lot easier and a lot better to have that so so I was super surprised to find out that there were no lights underneath the hood as good of a truck and as good as a company uh, Ford is and creating their features um, in their trucks for them not to have lights seems a little strange to me. This was an easy fix and they're super bright. So I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in these lights. Uh, you can see what I used and if you want to put them in your truck, uh, you can do that as well. So the next thing that I don't really like and it kind of bothers me is the rear cup holders, how they're right here on the center console. Um, I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'2", um, so I got long arms, long legs, and I find myself hitting people's drinks on accident, and uh, thankfully nothing has spilled yet. Um, but that's just kind of annoying to me. Um, I was very curious why they didn't have cup holders maybe like down here, or um, I guess in the higher trim models, um, the center console in the back folds down, and then you can uh, have cup holders there but that also doesn't work if you have someone sitting there. Um, and the other thing is um, there's only two cup holders. What if you have three people in the back? What are you supposed to do? So uh, that's kind of annoying. I know there are some cup holders in the door, but I don't really like those because I'm a big uh, fan of like Hydro Flask and the big cups and you can't really fit those in there. Um, but yeah, so that's something that I find a little bit annoying. Now the next thing I find annoying kind of deals with the center console as well and that is that it's a shared armrest between me and the passenger so we're both using the armrest uh, which is cool but sometimes I need to get in and get like my wallet or a piece of paper or gum or something like that and uh, every time I do that I'll be like hey excuse me I'm gonna lift my thing can you move your arm and uh, that's just kind of lame um, 
It would have been nice if like this seat had its own armrest and this seat had some armrests and this could just open independently. Um, I assume the reason Ford did this was because they wanted a bigger center console here. I know that um, they have these runners on the sides so that you can get, um, oh, what are they, file folders, um, dividers and paperworks in there if you want. Um, so they probably made that larger to accommodate for that and the more storage, um, which is cool, but it is a little annoying to have to ask your passenger to move their arm if you want to get in the center console. So uh, that's an annoying thing for me. Yeah, so let me know if you guys uh, find that annoying too, or if I'm just the only one out there being weird, so. And the last one I'm sure you guys are oh so familiar with is the auto stop start. Um, you have to push it to turn it off. Every single time you turn on the truck, it won't just stay off, which is super annoying. And for those of you who aren't familiar, what it does is every time you come to a stop, whether it's a stop sign or signal, the vehicle stopped, it turns off the engine uh, so that you don't waste gas sitting at a red light. Uh, it's supposed to be like more energy or more fuel efficient. I don't think it is really worth it. And honestly, I'm more concerned about my battery getting worn out or my starter getting worn out prematurely. So I just leave it off all the time. And I was tired of turning it on and off every time I turned on the truck. So I got an auto stop start disabler so that I can turn it uh, off. And the nice thing about that is that it saves the last setting. So if it was off and you turn the truck off, next time you turn on, it's gonna be off. It'll keep that last setting that was on. And you'll, you can find this on Amazon. It's an auto stop start disabler. Uh, it's about like 30 or 40 bucks, something like that. Don't get that one. I got that one and it didn't work. Uh, the switch either got stuck on or stuck off. It messed with my remote start. It was just, it didn't work. It was crappy. So I returned that and I went to a third party company on the internet. Uh, it's like auto stop start eliminator. I'll put the link in the description. You guys can check it out. It's a little bit more money. It's like 80 bucks, I think, but it works perfectly. Um, it's easy to install and it's just a really quality product. So learn from my mistake. Don't go buy the cheap one because you're just going to end up hating it, returning it and then buying the quality one. Um, the more expensive one anyway. So just start off with the right one and you'll be much more happy. All right, and that is it. That's the five things that I love about my F-150 and four things. There were only four things that really bugged me about the F-150. Um, I know I said five, but there's really only four. Um, overall, I love the truck. I think the features are so awesome. There's so many more features in this truck than other trucks that I've seen with the Silverado and the Dodge and the Tacoma. They were all very comparable, um, but when I compared all the features and the performance and the tow capacity and all that, all that stuff, the Ford just came out on top and uh, was a much better uh, decision for me and worked for my lifestyle. So. Uh, those are the things that I like and dislike. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys agree, if some of those things bother you too, or if there's other things that you really like that I miss, please leave a comment. You know, let me know, I'd love to hear. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe, it really helps me create more videos for you guys. And if you have any ideas for uh, videos in the future that you want me to make, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video about it if I can. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.